I actually don't think you're insensitive at all. I don't. It it doesn't matter. You know, the the kid wasn't part of your life. You don't know him. It. You know, a, so many people die every day. It's like. No, nobody really cares if one person dies unless they're in your direct life. Um, but I mean, if you do put it in perspective, it's pretty sad, especially since his family was there. You know, his mom and dad get to find out right after the fact that their son just was a complete and total idiot. He was. He had two things working against him, though. He was. He's a teenager, which you know, um, they all think they're invincible and uh, he's a guy and we all know they think they're all invincible so um, he never thought this was gonna happen to him got something in the back of his head that's telling him it can't happen to me I'll be fine I can walk on fire so he's gonna go you know run under a roller coaster and get his head torn off Six, six Flags could be uh, a little safer um, six foot fences are kinda easy to jump um, so it's not you know, like they're totally forgivable, but they had two of them. The kid's an idiot. His friends are idiots for letting him do it. They're going to feel like crap for the rest of their lives. The parents, you know, they're going to be devastated because, you know, their kid died, you know, who knows how many hundreds of feet away from them. And they're going to feel like they didn't protect them and they screwed up and, you know, they did. Um, they did screw up. They didn't teach their son not to be a complete and total idiot. I still feel a little sorry for him. Because, you know, he's dead. You don't like death. Nobody likes death. But, uh... It's a shame that, uh, you know, most people live their lives trying to get their 15 minutes of fame or, you know, try to hold on to some fame. And uh, this kid gets it in, you know, the stupidest way. Uh, losing his life in a, in a retarded way, he becomes more famous than, you know, people that save lives on a, you know, daily basis and people that go out there and actually do something with their lives. And he'll be remembered, you know. Every time I go to a theme park for the rest of my life, I'm going to say, you know, hey, remember the kid that got his head torn off at the Batman? You know, and then I'm going to follow it up, of course, with, uh, did you ever hear that Fabio got hit in the face on a roller coaster by a goose? You know, stupid crap like that sticks with us. And, you know, we seem to forget the good stuff. This guy saved, you know, 15 people from a fire not that important but a kid getting his head cut off by the Batman is you know world news so you know we just see how important stuff is to everyone and some idiot kid makes a mistake